Hey everyone, welcome back to another Maury's Plays Let's Play of Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are in Orberg City, we have just defeated the gym. Uh, Orberg Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Roa. Call me Roak the Rock. Or Rock the Rock, never do, did decide which was the right way to uh, pronounce that. Um, so I, we're pretty much just checking out this uh, town still. The only place we haven't really been is the museum. So you might as well start there and see if there's anything in the museum for us. And then we could probably move on with our travels. Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Oh, nothing much to say here. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils they can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Hey. Well, how about that? Orberg Mine extends under the sea floor. Interesting. Whoa, this is quite big. Badly scarred wood, uh, scarred wooden tools are displayed. They apparently dug out coal using these tools in the olden days. I like the way each counter's got like different, uh, different things in. Whoa, this is so cold. I never expected something so big. Oh, this is cold. I thought it was being sarcastic with the, or like trying to play a, play a, uh, on, do a play on words type thing, if you know what I mean. Like, this is so cold. <laughs> Wow, that Pokemon who carried this must be terribly strong. Uh, well, there's nothing in here for us then. That's strange. So where do we go next then? Uh, we can't really get through here anywhere, can we? So I guess we can head to the north part of town. Maybe we can get out this way. Uh, oh, we need a bicycle, don't we? Uh, that slope too slippery. You need a bike to get up. Uh, you don't have a bike, there's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Eterna City? Where's Eterna City? No. Where's Eterna City? Oh, how do we get to Eterna City if we need a bike to get there? Okay, we also need to do some training. We've got an Abra. We, we, start, we got a lot of Pokemon in the last couple of episodes. Um... We've got our Chimchar, obviously, Shinx, Abra, and we've got a Zubat, a Machop, and a Starly. So we've got a pretty good party going on. Um, I guess we'll head out of the... Oh, hey, what are you up to? Uh, these vents ex exchange the hot air. Oh, yes, we already know about that. Oh. Thud. I guess we're heading in the right direction. Whoops, Mori, you got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? Yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going to back to Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. What? Uh, but who's got the time to count? Wait, aren't we having a battle? I think we scared him. <laughs> Actually, at least we can use Rock Smash outside of, uh, outside of battle now. Yay, Bidoof! Let's check. There was a, a little thing up here we could get through. Ooh, another cave or some stairs. Mysterious stairs. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to do some battles anyway, so we won't run away from too many of them. We'll do a couple, I think. Uh, go on, Chimchar, I know you can do it! Um, battle... Ember. I do feel guilty, like, just... When your Pokémon get so powerful, they just kind of stomp on the little weak ones. Oh, it healed itself. Sneaky Zubat. Nothing another Ember can't solve, though. Uh, Wild Zubat fainted! Uh, you gained experience points! Yay! Okay, let's see if we can get through here. Beedoof has no problem doing that. Do you need a Beedoof in the party or can you just call any wild Pokemon? Uh, T oh, TM70 Flash! I remember in the, the OG gen, that you, ne you needed that uh, move to get through. Ooh, someone with a bicycle. Okay. <gasps> uh, yay, a Psyduck. We need a water Pokemon, don't we? 
I like Psyduck. Okay, we're gonna just stick with Chimchar because he's a bit stronger. Um, let's just do a Rock Smash. Well, I don't see how Rock Smash is effective against the Water Pokemon. Maybe I'm missing something here. Okay, that should be good. We should be able to catch... Calm down, Psyduck. There we go. Oh, if we got a... We should have used a Netball. If this doesn't work, we'll use a Netball next time. Yay! Gotcha, Psyduck was caught! Uh, your Pokemon gained experience points, and we leveled up Chimchar, which is always good. I love the way the experience share works in this game. It's so useful. Um, I kind of hated it at first, especially when we played... Uh... <gasps> what? Chimchar is evolving! Sometimes I will stop them evolving to learn moves a bit quicker, but actually I, I want to see, like... I want Chimchar to just evolve, basically. He looks so cool! Congratulations, your Chimchar evolved into Monferno! He looks epic. Why does he look like he should be shiny? What's that about? Uh, uh, Monferno wants to learn the move Mac Punch. Uh, yeah, we're all about the punches with our Chimchar. It's a little fighting monkey. Uh, <laughs> we'll get rid of Taunt because it's just not very useful. Ta-da! Monferno forgot Torn and learnt Mac Punch instead. Psyduck's data. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it re never remembers using its odd power, so it always tilts its head in puzzle. That's like me in real life, that is. Uh, where do you want to send Psyduck to? Add to your party. We oh, yes. We can literally switch out Pokemon. It's so cool. Um, we're going to get rid of Zubat. We only have Zubat in our party because there was someone in um, Orberg City that wanted to see Zubat. Um, but we didn't, we didn't find them again. Oh, we can't get through here, but we need, it looks like we need to, the biker to move out the way. Um, oh no, we don't. Uh, oh, bag of Stardust? What's Stardust? Let's have a look what Stardust is. We should try and educate ourselves as we're going. Um, let's see here, Stardust. A lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. Um, why does why does that description just feel really good? <laughs> um, it just sounds really nice, doesn't it? Um, it can be sold at a low price. Which, oh, so we can just sell it if we need to. What else is down here? Another Zubat. We might not keep Psyduck in our party too long, because I've just remembered when it evolves, it starts learning like psychic moves, doesn't it? And we've already got an Abra for that. Um, okay, let's check a Mac Punch. Not very effective, but we'll check it out. Monferno used a Mac Punch. That wasn't too bad. Oh no, not a Zorb! <laughs> uh, we've had our energy drain. We're gonna have to just use an Ember, aren't we? Ooh! Oh, we burned the Zubat! We might not even have to do another move. Oh no, we will, because it's doing Absorb. Oh, it didn't. It just got burnt. There we go. Sorry, Zubat. Uh, Shinx leveling up. Yes, we did swap out our Shinx for the second Shinx that we caught, because it had Intimidate ability, which is, is quite useful. I definitely want to explore the abilities of Pokemon more. Uh, do you see those slanted rocks on the ground? It... Feels awesome taking those fast on a bike. Oh, they're little ramps. So we should come in here when we've got a bike as well. Okay. Uh, you encountered wild Zubats. Uh, go on, Monferno. I know you can do it. We might as well take it out. We shouldn't run from battles that are pretty easy just because we need the experience. Ah, uh, supersonic. I just note that the size of the flame on Monferno's tail is ridiculous. There we go. That, 
That solved the Zubat problem. Hopefully we can get out now without encountering any more Pokemon. I think we've done enough little tiny battles now. Uh, hopefully we can get out. Oh yes, we've got this bit to navigate through as well. I don't know if Pokemon ever attack you when you break the rocks, maybe? I know that used to be a thing. No! Not Geodude! You encountered a wild Geodude! Go Monferno! I know you can do it! Uh, oh, Mac Punch! Super effective! Let's try it. A super effective Mac Punch. Wow! But it didn't! Didn't. Ca oh, it's got Sturdy. That's the one where it can't be KO'd, I think. I love the abilities. I've never ever paid much attention to them. Uh, I know I've already said that, but it's just, it really intrigues me, like, all these different abilities. Never really used to be much of a thing. In the earlier games, obviously. And one thing I have noticed about Pokemon Shining Pearl, I don't know if it's in the modern games, but the music is so loud, I literally have to turn the music down. Otherwise, I can't hear myself talk. <laughs> At least compared to like Breath of the Wild, where it's just really quiet, subtle music. Okay, we're gonna head back to town. Oh. We're pretty much not gonna bump into anyone at this point. Uh, we will just quickly go to the Pokemon Center before we go anywhere else though. Actually, we should, we should be able to get into the GWS thing as well now. So maybe we should check that out before going too far. Uh, thank you for waiting, we've restored your Pokemon to full health! Uh, we hope to see you again! Okay, so let's see if we can get to this... Was it over here, wasn't it? They wouldn't let us through this time. Oh, they're letting us through! Just past here is the GWS, which stands for Global Wonder Station. Pokemon trading means connecting with friends, both old and new. That's awesome! Hey! It's another great day for fortune telling, uh, Badu. I'm a fortune teller who can read the future! The shape of Badu's bud. Would you like to have your fortune told? Yes. To begin, could you please tell me the month you were born? There we go. I see! Uh, and next, what day were you born? I see. So your birthday is age 26, yes? Now then, Badu, let me have a look at your bud. The fortune for someone born on 826 is... Hmm, I see such distinctive swirls. And the petals are just barely visible. Uh, twitching like it might be bloom at any second. Right, and your fortune should be very happy. Your flowery future will burst into bloom, uh, wrapping you in its joyful fragrance. If you continue to blossom just as you are now, something good is sure to come your way. Okay, let's see if we should... Oh, there's another building here as well. Uh, that look, you're obviously a trainer. Will you tell me what type of Pokemon you like? Uh, we're going to go with fire for this time. Fire type Pokemon, you must have fiery personality. Oh. Is that an insult? I feel like that was an insult. <laughs> uh, I got my Pikachu by trading from a distant land. He grows quickly and his level's high, but he doesn't listen to me. It's not always easy, but Pikachu is still my irre irreplaceable partner. If everyone around the world had Pokemon, then everyone around the world could communicate. I see. Interesting theory. I think about my friends every time I see the Pokemon I traded with them. So these are all like trading fans, I guess. We came here because I wanted to see the place where the Pokemon I got from a trade grew up. Uh, you can trade Pokemon with people around the world using the Global Wonder Station, right? Just hearing that gets my heart racing. Such exciting times. Uh, when you connect with people on the internet, it's hard to tell if the world's big or small. It's definitely small. It's definitely it's smaller. It gets smaller every year, I swear, as well. Okay, let's go and see if we can trade a Pokemon. I'd I really like the Wonder Trade in previous games. Sometimes you just get like a, a shiny or a super rare one. Uh, let's see what we can do. Welcome, this is the Global Wonder Station, or GWS for short. Global Wonder Station, customize your personal globe by making wonder trades in the GWS. We enable the trading of Pokemon with trainers worldwide over the internet. Would you like to use the Global Wonder Station via the internet? Can we do random ones, or is it just organized ones? Let's see, use the GWS. We will now connect you to the internet. Your game will be saved, yes. 
You're now connected to the internet. I hope you enjoy your visit to the Global Wonder Station. I literally have no idea what to expect here. Uh, trade. Let's see if we can trade. <laughs> oh, let's trade our zoo. Let's trade our Shinx because we've got two of them. Um, wow, what is this? Is this? I don't understand. Please select a point. Okay. Point one. Would you like to save your progress and start a wonder trade? Trade. Now saving your Pokemon adventure. Don't turn off the power. Okay. I'm not sure what's about to happen right now. Is this random? Searching for a trainer to trade with. A, tr a trade partner has been found for you. This is exciting. Oh, so it is Wonder, uh, Wonder Trade, like completely random. Okay, bye, Shinx. You did us well. You did us proud. What? Oh, cool. Was that a Dark Ball or something, or like, a, what Pokeball is that? Oh, it's a Japanese Pokemon. Uh, Miss Drevious. That's so cool. Ghost type Pokemon. I don't know if we should have one at this stage of the game. Uh, what level is it? A uh, new Pokemon's icon has been added. This is so cool. Would you like to continue Wonder Trade? Yes. Uh, I'm going to get carried away here. Level one. <laughs> oh, someone's breeding them, I guess. And then just like sending them in the Wonder Trades. Okay, I'm sorry to do this, but we're going to have to... <laughs> we're going to have to trade our low level Pokemon just because we haven't got anything good. If we start breeding them later, maybe we could send a, some bread Pokemon, but I do feel bad. Maybe we'll get some rare ones. I don't know. A partner has been found for you. Begin trade. This is so cool. I do feel a bit guilty just sending our low level Pokemon. A G did. <laughs> That's okay. We can send him back out. I guess it's the wrong time of day to be trading because um, there won't be many English or American players on at this time. I doubt. Um, we've already got Geo dude. Let's send our other Geo dude. Whoa, there's so many points. I don't... Do we just... Is it just... We can just pick whatever... We, oh, wow. Okay, this is so cool. This is different to how it used to be. So you can try and get, like, specific regions, I guess. Like, if you wanted Japanese or English. Okay. What's this one going to be? Hopefully it's something really cool. Imagine we got a shiny. Oh, wow! A Dratini! And what Pokeball is that? Oh, yes! I. Oh, yes! Thank you, Naito! Take good care of Dratini. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> Sending off low-level Pokemon. We'll do one more. Yes, we'll just do the last one. We'll do our dear Zubats. Okay, let's see if we can pick someone in England. Um, uh, it's hard to get to... It's hard to get close to England. Okay, we'll try this one. It's so cool that there's so many people on at once all trying to trade. Why do we pick a point and then it goes to a different point? That's kind of strange. Okay, bye Zubats. Let's be something cool. Oh, oh wow! Another different Pokeball. Was that a Dusk Pokeball? I don't know. I can never remember the different Pokeballs. Yay! I've forgotten the name of this one. This is Shroom something, isn't it? At least it adds it to our Pokedex now as well. Uh, okay, let's... I want to do one more. This is really addictive. Um, we'll just send the Geodude back, I think. Yeah, I just noticed this Geodude was level 13, so it's definitely uh, 
that the level one one we got was definitely like from a breed, I think. We're gonna put Dratini in our party though. Psyduck's gonna have to leave. Does anyone else like to do wonder trades? I don't know if maybe this would be a good video just to do a bunch of wonder trades. Bye Geo dude, it was nice having you for a short time. Can you reset Pokemon nicknames as well? Oh look! A little, what is that, Wingull thing? Is it Wing, Wingull? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we needed a flying Pokemon earlier. <laughs> Wingull's data we added to the Pokedex. Why didn't it say that for the Dratini? Uh, okay, I can't help it, but I need to do one more. You successfully marked five points. Is that all we can do in one day? You've received free rare candies as a reward. Fulfilling your globe, wow. Okay, uh, would you like to continue one to trade? One more, I'm sorry, one more. Level 20, okay, that's too high anyway. All level one, see these must all be being bred. Um, I don't have much experience with breeding, so I don't ever know what people, are people trying to get certain um, abilities or are they trying to get certain statistics? I don't know. Or maybe, can you get shinies from eggs and things? Maybe that's what people are trying to do. Ooh, a partner somewhere near Japan, I think. Imagine it was a legendary. <laughs> I bet people, what is your best Pokemon you've ever received in a Wonder Trade? I'd love to hear people's stories. Oh, a Shinx. How funny would it be if it was that, that was our Shinx coming back to us? Oh, it's the same trainer. <gasps> that could be our Shinx. I can't remember if, if we traded our Shinx or not. Um, okay, we, de we definitely don't... Oh, it wasn't our Shinx. It was only level 3. Uh, no. Oh, is it because it's on the same point? Uh, let's try point 8. I can't remember which ones we've done. There we go. Waiting for a trainer. This is so cool. I literally could just do this all day. It's like a gamble. <laughs> No wonder it's addictive. I literally could sit here and just keep trading the Pokemon until we get really cool ones. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, a Magikarp! Come on! Not even a shiny Magikarp. Carpador! <laughs> This is a great way to fill the Pokedex, but we definitely don't need a Magikarp, so... Okay, I promise, last time, we'll just get rid of the Magikarp. Whatever we get for the Magikarp, we will keep. Um, and then we'll put Dratini in our party. Like, do we have to fill every single point on the globe? That's crazy. Okay, come on. The other side of the world! On a little island! I'm sorry to send you a Magikarp, but someone sent us the Magikarp. <gasps> Houndoom! Or was that Houndor? Which one was it? Wow, that's a pretty good Pokemon to get, except we don't really need like a fire. Is that dark and fire or just dark? Houndoom. That's pretty cool. From Zane. Okay. Um, whoa, level 39. That's ridiculous. Let's send this one. I'm sorry, I can't help it. 603, okay. Is, what, is there a thousand points or something? Okay, last one, I promise. Whoa, right from the top of the world. Is that the top or the... No, it's the bottom of the world. There we go. Oh, cool. I forgot its name. The little armor thing. What's it called? <laughs> Riot shield. Someone's playing Call of Duty. Uh, Sheldon's data will be added. Is that his name? 
No. Okay, that's pretty cute. Uh, okay, I promised that would be the last ones, even though I, I made lots of promises, but this is definitely the last one. Okay, let's finish up now. Yeah, that's so cool. I literally could just do that all day. So maybe if someone wanted to... Maybe we could live stream that, or maybe we could just have an episode where we just do Wonder Trades for like an hour or something. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go and swap out our, po our Dratini. Uh, it's only level one, I think, so we need to get that um, growing. We definitely want the Dratini in our party, at least for a little while, anyway. Um, so who are we going to sacrifice? It's going to have to be Psyduck, isn't it? There we go. Level one Dratini. Perfect. Okay, there we go. I guess that's a good place to wrap it up. We're about a half an hour mark now. So we got back to Jubilife City after winning a gym badge and did some successful wonder trades. So I think we'll call it a day there for now. Oh, if my character's tired, look. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, we'll just take it as it comes, basically. Maybe do some wonder trades, maybe do some training and just head through the story mode. So thank you for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members. And I'll see you next time. Bye.